The world is very different now than it was when email was invented. The world is even different from when Gmail launched 10 years ago. The way that people deal with their uh, inbox has just changed dramatically. Everything you do now creates an email. Uh, you know, notwithstanding all of the promotional mails that we all get as well. And also, you know, we get email for every trip that we plan, we get email for everything that we buy, we get email when we take a cab. But it's hard to get at that information too, you know. If you take a look at like a, you know, a regular flight email, then, you know, you have to get through pages of boilerplate information before you get to the information that you really care about. Uh, and people send themselves emails. What the, and, and what this represents is that we're drawn back to these devices, we're drawn back to our inbox, but they don't always contain the things that we need to care about. They contain a lot of the things that other people want us to care about. Um, and so we have all these hacks to try and make sure we get back to what matters to us. So I'm Jason, I'm the design lead for Gmail and now for Inbox. This is Inbox, running on a Nexus 6. Uh, this is a feature we call Highlights. So pictures from a friend, rather than just rendering that as a paper clip, they're right here in the highlight. And I can tap on these, I can see them full screen. Same thing for travel information, for purchases, for attachments, um, for YouTube links. So here's the original email. Um, if your flight information changes, um, that email stays the same. But the highlight pulls out all the information that matters and actually goes farther than that, goes out to the web and pulls in up-to-date tracking information. The next thing I wanted to talk about was is bundles. So Alex talked about the volume problem. We all get all of this mail and a lot of mail that we get is really FYI. Inbox groups together similar types of messages so that you can deal with them all at once. We keep on getting them because occasionally there's that diamond in the rough. What bundles allow you to do is look across a whole category of messages at once so you can really quickly charge through all of the messages that are kind of FYI messages and when you're looking at a list of things that other people want you to do, it's easy to lose track of the things that you want to do. Um, so we added a feature called Reminders. Let me give you, show you another example with Reminders. I'm going to call my friend Yeroon. Inbox is going farther than just giving you the reminder here. If I save this, it's also showing what we call an assist. So often the hardest thing about getting things done is just taking that first step. So with assists, Inbox does its best to give you a link to get started. So for calling somebody or for contacting somebody, even if I don't remember their number, it's in my contacts. Inbox can bring that in in the assist with the ability to call or send them a message. What does a Google Apps uh, user, like a business, need to do to get this? Is there, is there support yet? Google Apps support is coming soon. It seems like it's taking aspects of Google Now, um, sort of combining them with an email thing. Do you, do you fear any kind of redundancy or is this a better implementation of it? No, it's, you know, it's using the same technology and they really work really well together. So you have that information that appears in your inbox and then now can re bring that same information back to you at the right time. So they're, they're really designed to work seamlessly together. So if I set a reminder here, I mean, is it, is it only an inbox? Does it, does it like, I'm just sort of, what, what I see it here, I'm not really. The same, rem they use the same reminders. Okay. So if you create a reminder on your Wear watch, or if you create a reminder in now, that's gonna cause your phone to buzz. But this is really important, then it ends up back in inbox. So if you don't right. deal with that thing that you wanted to be reminded about right away, it's still there, you can come back to it, you're guaranteed not to miss is it. Is this for everyone? Is this what Gmail is gonna evolve into? We see this as really solving the problems that Alex described. So I think if you are someone who feels like you're getting way too much email, it's way too much work, we designed it for you.